Guys, I'm still buying altcoins. I'm adding a new altcoin to the portfolio today. The signs that the alt season is about to start. The signs that we're going to get that crypto rally. This is the Bitcoin dominance. We're at resistance. They're trying to break through a new high. And what we want is a drop to confirm the start of alt season. Remember, you don't buy resistance. You don't buy resistance. When Bitcoin dominance is at resistance, that's the best time to buy. Okay, before we jump into the charts, before we get into the alt pick of the week, what's changed in the market? You can see the market was greedy last month, it was greedy last week, 69, now it's fearful. That went all the way down to around about 14. So you can see that we're in fear at the moment, and every time that we're in fear, you can see time and time again, maximum. Every time that we're in fear, this is fear down here, guys. Bam, move to the upside. Every single time that we're in fear, look where we are now, guys, fear. Does this look like it could be potentially the start of a new bull run? We're in fear at the moment. You could get further down to max pain. Look, it's happened here. It's happened here. It's happened here. It's happened several times in the past. So we could get that big wick to the downside. But that buy up candle, that will be a big buy up candle. So that is the fear and greed. What's the crypto bubbles looking like? On the day, you've got some big movers. Popcap 35.8%. Dog with hat 26.7%. Floki up 14%. So it's a meme day today, guys. The memes are running. And on the week, you can see we've had a red week. So we've had a red week. We've had a red month, really. If you look on the monthly, a lot of them are red. How's the portfolio looking? We'll look at the Crypto Bullseye portfolio next. You can see while we've been building to the downside and building to the downside, and the market's been dropping 30 to 40%, our portfolio's held up well 16.3%. And the difference is we were looking at the top 100. These are outside the top 100, or a lot of them are. These are high risk at strong support levels to maximize the gains as we de-risk over the course of the bull run. Okay, next thing I want to show you guys, new Discord channel. We've got a new Discord channel. We've got all sorts going on in here. I'm going to keep building this. You've got places where you can share your charts. You've got market analysis, trading strategies. You've got Crypto Bullseye portfolio. That's full and transparent, guys. You can keep track of that. I've got all my buy zones. I've got my double down levels. And I've got my exit levels all in the Crypto Bullseye portfolio. You've got Crypto Gossip. You've got all sorts on here, guys. Market analysis. You can share your charts on there. Share your charts on here. So I'll leave the link in the description below. How much does it cost to join? Absolutely free. I'm not asking for anything. We're just going to build a community together to help each other out. So go check that out. Right, okay, altcoin pick of the week. This is what you've been waiting for. There's tens of thousands of cryptos out there. I don't know what all of them are. I don't know what most of them are. So if you've got any info about them, if you've got any chart analysis, or just got any requests, throw them my way and we can look at them together. So why do I like this chart? What do I like about this chart? First and foremost, we talk about the range. We talk about the accumulation phase in a range. And once you get that big breakout, that confirms that people are interested. We've had a massive pullback here. People that bought here, people that bought here, been wrecked. People that bought here, they've been wrecked. People have been DCA in, down, DCA in, down, DCA in, down, DCA in, down. This is the power of this strategy, guys. We want things that have been absolutely wrecked to the downside, where they've got minimal downside potential. They might go down still, but they've got minimal downside potential compared to this. Bam, the upside potential. That upside potential here from where price action is currently sitting, and this is just to its previous high, is 370%. So what do I like about this chart? Let's clear it up. What do I like about this chart? Firstly, I mentioned this accumulation phase. This accumulation phase lasted for, let's measure. This accumulation phase lasted for, 78 days. What happens once you break out of a big accumulation phase? You would expect, what would you expect? Resistance to flip support. This is textbook, what happened? Big break, bam, come back down, support. Held support and then you had a big move to the upside. So this is what we're waiting for and this is what we're trying to catch again. We've had this range, we've been pulling downwards, we've been in a bearish range, you can see. Bearish guys, we know. Don't want to teach us some games, but lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. So how are you playing this? From a trader or from an investor, depends what hat you've got on. If you're a trader, you're in this bearish range, you're not looking to take opportunity of lower levels. If you're a trader, you're looking to protect your capital. So how do you protect your capital? You wait for the break. The break tells you that the bulls have got momentum and it allows you to know that that is the bottom. And if it's not the bottom, 
that is the maximum amount of capital that you're willing to risk. This little bit here, if you're a trader, you're risking the minimal amount of capital possible. So if you're a trader, you're wanting the confirmation so you can put a stop loss in, so you know how much capital that you've got to risk. And if this comes back down and happens, you get stopped out with the amount of capital that you put forward that you're willing to risk. So that's a trade. What about an investor? If you're an investor, is it okay to dip your toe in the water? Holding support, holding support. This support was the resistance before we broke through, touched the support, come back down, touched the support again. If you're an investor, is it okay to dip your toe in the water? Ask yourself one question. What happens if it goes down? Are you prepared? So if you've got an entry here, which I'm gonna do, 0 0.0865, and then price action drop down back into this range, 30% to the downside. And it looks a little amount, but it's 30% to the downside. What about if we were measuring to the top of the range? Done it once. I'm gonna keep doing it and doing it again because this is your risk management, 357%. So does it look like a good trade? Are you prepared for it to come down here? And if it did come down here, what would you do about it? What would you do about it? Average, do you bring your price in the middle then? That's the powerful thing about thinking about your position, waiting for your entries, and not just looking at someone on YouTube and saying, right, okay, he's doing Vanry, let's put my money in Vanry. Make sure you're greedy with your entries, make sure that you get good consistent levels where you can scale in over a period of time if you're investing. All your eggs in one basket, tomorrow you could drop 50%. If you don't put all your eggs in one basket and it drops 50%, what can you do? Bring your average down by 25%. So it's a powerful tool with guys. Risk management is the key to success in crypto. If you did enjoy this video, let me know in the comments what you want me to cover next. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. It helps me out a lot. Join the Discord group. That is going to be banging. It's only just started. It's completely free. And I'll leave a link in the description below. Take care from me and goodbye.